The day my brother died, I believe that he just had a really bad day. And as a teenager, you're very impulsive and you think that whatever is happening at that moment is the end of the world and your life will never get better. And he had access to, to a gun, which made it easier for him to commit suicide. Another huge impact of my brother's death was that exactly nine months to the day that he passed on October 14th, 2013, his mother, Sheila Graham, who was my stepmother, took her life because she couldn't cope with the pain of losing her son and not being able to protect him. Two beautiful souls are gone because there was a gun left, unlocked, unsecured. How many more children have to die before safe storage becomes a law? This was one of my San Nicholas's favorite places to go on Sundays. This is London, it's very famous for absolutely incredible baking goods and cakes. Nicholas's favorite was cheese Danish, which I always get here when I come here. I take it home and I eat it with my other son, Peter. And it just makes me feel connected somehow to Nicholas again. This particular loss could have been prevented if we had a law that states that you have to lock up your guns when they are not in your immediate possession and control. Sometimes it feels like it's not our life, it's just a nightmare or a horror movie that we're living through and then we would wake up and everything would be okay, but it's not. When I heard that they were all gone, my sister, my niece and nephew, and my sister's husband as well, I didn't know that they were shot because they said that they were all found in their house. So my automatic reaction was they all died from carbon monoxide. That's what I was thinking. Like, that's what happened. It was an accident and they just all died by accident. So maybe 20 minutes later when I got home, my sister called me back and she's screaming like he killed them, he shot them all. My sister is more than just the article that you see online. She was my best friend, she was a mother, she was a daughter, she was a dancer. She was amazing, like I, I love her, I think about her every day and she's my inspiration behind why I do everything now. In terms of, you know, my sister's husband, I think, you know, he tried to have the final say, but he actually did the opposite. Look at all the positives that have, have come from that situation. Yes, you physically took my sister and my niece and nephew, but their spirit is here. My spirit is in me and you and you and you, like, it's everywhere. They, the awareness is here now. There was no final say. It's like the irony, like you tried to finish everything and you actually started something. I would rather somebody tell me age and what you're afraid of. The other one tell me 
Where you live and what you are. Uh, Brianna. Hi. Okay, I'm 17. I'm 14. Okay. I live in Brownsville. I live in Cobble Hill. Um, besides Brandon, I love my three siblings. <laughs> I love performing, and I'm afraid of dying a tragic death. And my biggest fear is losing all my loved ones. My biggest fear is losing my mother. So, one of the most common fears that pretty much everybody in this classroom have is death, right? And sometimes what we are afraid of is the one thing that makes us the same, right? I didn't know that this stopping somebody from picking up a gun. They're talking about how, how this, this huge issue affects men, affects their lives, affects their families, affects their friendships, their education. And I think because um, reaction gives them an honest playing field to actually sit down and, and talk, um, that they start to influence each other. We know that these things are happening in the community, and sometimes you don't have you know, any control over it, but you can. They feel like they can make a difference. And they feel like that, you know, what what they're talking about, what they're doing is actually making a difference. That's the only way to stop the violence that are happening in the community is to be active. You have to be loud, you have to be passionate, and you have to be educated. Reaction is a lot different because it's not all about statistics, right? It's, it's not all about, you know, learning where the guns come from or why the legal guns are here. But it's, it's connecting and combining all those different things that stops gun violence. You all care about this issue. And it's not just about guns, it's about peace in general. If you care about peace and if you care about advocacy, this is definitely the program for you.